again, we want to say greetings. Sun is shining bright. This morning, the rain was falling in the rainforest, yeah. The kind of rain, I kind of come like now for vegetable rain, them, yeah. <laughs> vegetable rain, but I realize how will you put people vegetables wash out? Yeah, we find an alternative to the normal pop show and color There's so much vegetable there, there but Jamaican people. For them thing is callalo and, and, and cabbage. Callalo and cabbage. There's so much vegetables there. You just need to explore. Yeah man, you need to explore. Step in. Can we say again that you tune into a different kind of stepping razor? <laughs> yeah, you're the part of the stepping razor, believe it or not. This is the stepping razor. I will tell you like the hour between two and three is sponsored by Pepsi. Twist the gold cap to win. Who oh, are you up Shane in a watch there? Shane I hold the fourth, fifth and six. We have we are stepping ways are still there. We want to stay tuned, listen up, and pick and catch for special part draw up next. So we have five minutes before that. We want to tell the people about something where it's very concerning. You know, we hear about Chick V and we hear about um, the new, the mosquito thing we are going on now. People, the government start to advise us, you know, the mosquito them, they bought the place again. But I want to tell the, the listener them about something where it's very concerning. And that is a thing named lep, leptopyrosis. Leptopyrosis. I don't know how much people know about it, but a whole heap of people is getting it and dying. It's not recorded or it's supposed to be recorded because it's just something will happen and people just take it at face value. Now, leptopyrosis is caused by rats urinating are left in them little pieces all over the place for your food, for your counter, for your, for your, 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 your plate, them and all them, something there. Now we want to warn the people, them, sincerely, to really check about this thing because now it's rat season. You never know rat have season. Yes, anytime it get cold, them look for God to warm and climb. So them dig the hole, them deeper in the earth. Them go in your ceiling more. Them dig out in your ceiling for going at the ceiling. And also, them will go in your car to and yam up all the battery them, which happened to me already. One man, me get up to turn on my car when me look. It now starts. I'm looking there. The rat, them go in and yam out the whole of the wire them out of the, out of the battery. Them looking for warm places in this change of climate, which is cold. When you go to market, especially the market, bully for rat in a market. So them run up and down for the food, them, them run up and down for anything where they can't catch. And also buy things. Sometimes you look for certain food, I can say I like a bite for it, I can say you just cut it off and, and, and use the part. But here you know, I'll tell you something now, it's serious. Leptopyrosis is a killer. Leptopyrosis is a killer. And it kill a whole heap of people in Jamaica. But as I say, it's not something where people take heed to. So I tell the people them, you see, when you get up, you see all the things them were visible to you where you use regular. It's like that you go wash them off or use something sanitary bleach or whatsoever you use to wipe down the things them. And make sure you say you, you wash the food them. And I talk about peel the food them and then wash it. Wash the food first with the skin on, and then you peel it and wash it again. Because it's not a lovely thing. It's not a really lovely thing. You know, we have to know that. It's not really a lovely thing to have leptopyrosis spread by rats. And the rat, them not about the place now. They might breed up all over the place. You know, them really. So, we just want you know that. Before them put the ad them power. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
You know, just, just take care. It's not how the COVID kill, you know. And, uh, most people who catch leptospirosis don't live, you know. Oh, why you know that? It's not like the COVID where most people who catch COVID um, pass through it. It pass through them. We have to take care because rat is not a night thing. I eat rat more than how I eat rat. Believe you me, rat is not something where I fever. And them run up and down out of the yard, them run up and down in your house. Sometimes you're at night, you hear the rat, them are keep party in your, in your place without music. But we don't have to take it serious. I want them to take it serious. I want them to take it serious what I'm saying. Leptopyrosis. This is the time when I will leave people catch leptopyrosis because the rat them is looking warm place to put themselves. And you must be able to control your environment, clean your environment. Food drop all over the place. Make sure you say take up the food off of the ground, off of your table, off of your plate, them off of your cup, all any way of the things them the way you use it. Clean them properly. Okay. So we'll leave you with that. And we want to listen up at peak and catch pad special pad draw. Up next. Up next. We come forward. We we'll have an interview to go um after three. Um, with the Nutrimix, Nutrimix. So, she didn't take her, she did remind me about the supermarket too. Because the supermarket is a place where when nobody doing their night time, they rat them have a, a beautiful party. Because them say all the food, them and all the them run up and dump and all of the things them were in there. Because sometimes the supermarket people, them come in there and say all the flower bag bus, you know. And so maybe the boss all that tell them, say all them the bus it and them no sign of them, but sometimes the rat all bust all the back them and go in there. You understand? So we just tell the people them to so be careful. Yes, because everybody are concentrated on one thing, but there's other thing when near rat to you. Yes, you can the the the, 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 the rat them now catch you outside a the road. They might come inside of your yard and I run up and down by your things them. So we just tell the people them that have precaution, especially in the holiday yeah, where you don't want to get sick. You don't want to get sick, you know. Nothing at this time, yeah. Because you have so much thing. You have flu. You have what them call it, um, what is the mosquito thing. You have COVID for thing, pan. You have police and thief, gunman and all them something to fear fret about. So that's why you know that. Leptopyrosis is not a beautiful thing. It's one of the, it's one of the diseases them where it, 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 it comes from a beast where me just, me just can't take, me can't take them. So if you know, say you can't get rat poison, find some rat poison. Nobody get no rat trap, cause rat no free that rat trap again. Them look at it like you're an idiot now, say. You think you catch my great grandfather with that? You think some an idiot now for go bless her? As a matter of fact, me no eat cheese again. You understand? So why you know that? We just tell you that as a precaution, because yes, it, it, it's not a lovely thing to catch disease in at them time now. This is the stepping razor. Okay, so we're going to go to the interview. <clears throat> we could find some things that's uh, in other bungla things. <laughs> so, okay, we are going to talk on the on the iP iP um, the iPhone iPad. Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> we want to talk to. Gabriel Young, Nutramix Livestock Support Manager. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you, dear? I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay, all right. Doing all right. All right. So, this is kind of it's interesting and also disturbing in many ways. But we're going to go through it. Okay. Nutramix. What is what? What is Nutramix? What them? deal with specifically? Nutrimix is a animal feed company. So we produce feeds, a variety of feeds for um, livestock. Um, and we, for livestock, so chickens, pigs, layers, broilers, um, dairy dairy cows, goats, sheep, rabbits. Okay. I can Everything. go on and on. Uh -huh. Every animal. Yes, every animal, yes. All right. Nutramix Goat Cement Project. What is that? 
Okay, um, it's, they, they're using the project, the Coin New World project, but basically it's something we've been doing for over a year now, where we saw the need that in Jamaica we have been importing a lot, 80% of what we consume as goat meat or sheep meat. Right. Um, goat meat is chevron and sheep meat is mutton um, and lamb. We 80% of what we've been consuming is actually imported. And then we also said, you know, we can look at the, f- the byproduct uh, or further processing of sheep, of goat. So we're looking yeah. at goat milk production also. Producing oh, milk yes. from goat. Mm-hmm. When you say goat milk production, because I see here um, right. new genetics, to the, the benefits of new genetics to, to small farmers that you are introducing, and maybe not introducing, but presenting new genetics to small farmers. What is the right. benefit of new genetics to far- small farmers? Oh, okay, great. Um, new genetics means that basically Jamaica has a closed animal population, relatively closed, right? We have a finite number of animals. And um, so what happens is, um, and in specific reference to the goat population, we have a limited number of breed stock people who produce, you know, let's say superior quality animals. And because of that, you tend to find everybody's buying from the same people. So they're coming to get the same males, basically. So over time, everybody has something from the same person. So it's, we're, we're getting to the point where, you know, you, you kind of, um, everybody's a little bit related, maybe, to put it simply. So what we, did, we wanted to do was we wanted to introduce some new fresh blood bloodlines into Jamaica. And we started this from last year. So we brought in, um, it's very difficult to bring in live animals into Jamaica um, because, again, Jamaica is blessed with a very high health status, you know. So mm-hmm. Jamaica has limited very few diseases. So basically, and, and you can extrapolate that to what we're dealing with with COVID now, right? We don't yeah. want to bring in anybody with COVID, do we? So we don't want to bring in animals or people don't want to bring in animals that will carry diseases that you may not see on them initially. So what we looked at is um, technology has allowed us to ex- to extract semen from animals in a very safe and easy, way, very animal-friendly way. The, the buck jumps and we collect semen from him. And basically now the semen is checked and evaluated. And we can ship the semen now frozen, right, to Jamaica. So it's, we're shipping in superior genetics. I always like to use the word, let's say, let's look at Shaquille O'Neal, right? Um and not everybody can get Shaquille O'Neal, but we can get Shaquille O'Neal semen, right? So we bring it in in a, in a tank, and basically the semen from that buck is the same as the animal, okay? Uh, and we use the semen now, and we breed different females in, in, in artificial insemination. All right. So we're, we're, going, we're delving into genetics when we talk about, when we talk about bringing in the semen. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's, that is biology, you know, this, um... The genetics, uh, the, the, the genes of the animal that is brought in. Mm-hmm. How do, all right, we have a thing named um, genetically modified food. No, no. No, we're not bring it, mm-hmm. bringing in, eh? Yeah. Sorry? Bringing in the we're genes. Not... Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Bringing in the genes of other animals mm-hmm. into Jamaica mm-hmm. to put it in the animal's ear. Mm-hmm. Given that genes have to do with environment. You know, Correct. it's either your yes. genes... It's, okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Back up, back up, finish. It's either mm-hmm. the genes going to influence the animal or the environment in which the, the animal live will, 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 will influence them. No, what I'm asking you, sure. how do we know that given where the, the genes, the, 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 the semen is coming from, how right. do we know uh-huh. that that semen coming out of its environment will right. not adversely affect the genes and the, and the animal that, that you are trying to, to, to breed up here? Okay, great question. And I'm glad you brought it up. Because, again, let's be clear, this is not genetic modification in any way. Okay, sir? None. Basically, can I, can I get, if you want to say, personal with you, right? If I collect semen from you, right, from you, 
Is yes. the semen not the same as you? That's what I'm saying. That the genes... Asking, so you, do, right, right? So no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it. So the semen collected from you, sir, is the same as you, correct? If, if you have offspring, it's, you contribute half, right? Correct? Uh, yes. Yes? Okay. So if your semen was collected, and I'm glad you brought it up because, again, people have different perceptions in their head. If the semen is collected from you, sir, um, and we take that semen and we put it in different females all over the world. Yes, yes, the environment may have an effect on it. But what we did, right, because again, if you, let's say, you're going um, Alaska now, again, your your genes will be there, your genes will be there, your, your chromosomes will be there, your genes, but you can adapt. And that's the great part about artificial insemination. When we bring the genes in, and what we did is we actually selected animals with a similar environment and climate to us. We didn't get from, you know, Alaska or so, or European stuff. We got stuff from Texas. We got brought in semen from Texas, which has a very hot climate, a pretty tro- um, semi-tropical climate like ours. So we looked at those things too. We tried to select from sires or bucks with, within the ge- same geographical belt as what we had. So basically, we know that these animals will perform pretty well in Jamaica, right? And there's no modification to it. It's like collecting semen from you and using it somewhere else. And again, the environment will play a part in it. And that is why um, we want to make sure when we go out and we perform this service, we have consultations with the farmers first. We say, okay, this is what we're going to do. We prepare them and we also show them what the box look like, show them what the potential can be. And then we also train them and coach them to say, okay, this is what you need to accomplish this. Hello? Not necessarily the person who the genes come from. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I think I got cut off. I didn't hear that question. No, all right. No, I'm saying that if you take my genes, yep. my sperm, and give yep. to our, our... Give to what? Hello? And next under man, you can't hear me. I, I, sorry, I lost you. I, all I heard is if you take your sperm and hello, I don't know what's happening. Okay, I can hear you. You said if you take your sperm and no, if my sperm right is placed in a person and that person gone to Germany or Alaska right. or somewhere, yeah, and actually have a baby. Yes. The sperm, even though it is coming from the sperm, the person who's getting the sperm is not. Shrege, shrege. Hello? Hello? I am sorry about that. Uh, That's electronics okay. I don't not know. Working. Did, did you sell, I think? Or whatever. Yeah, we need some. We need some. We need some semen in the in the electronics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. You know, they say we have to wrap up still, but I just want you to say what you wanted to say, without me interrupting you, because I I, I know that I was interrupting you. No. So I wanted to say what you wanted to say. No, man. Um, I just wanted to say that. Um, I I hope that it's understood that. Again, we, we have a closed population. The idea of bringing in the semen is to improve the, 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 the breeding stock that we have in Jamaica so that the small ruminant sector, which is sheep and goats, can really thrive and flourish so that we'll have better producing animals with more meat on them. We can venture into goat's milk a little bit. That's quite a nice, it's called a universal milk. So that's what we're really looking at. How can we improve this sector to make it more efficient and profitable for, profitable for the farmers? And that's really what we, that's okay. the purpose of this mission. Okay. Are, are your ancestors from India? I'm just curious. No. Um, my dad is from Chinese. Is Chinese is second generation. Oh, Chi- so first oh, generation. So okay. First generation. And my mom is, um, what is, what is she called? I don't know. French Caribbean type person, <laughs> Caucasian. I don't know what to call her. Yeah. All she's right. Her, all right. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Give thanks. Give thanks. All right. Very much. All right. Yeah, with you. So I uh, addressed this situation. Yeah, uh, last week 
we get this information that the coronavirus is spiking in Westmoreland, Anova, Trilani, St. James, and St. Anne. Now, why we choose to bring it up now? We choose to bring it up because that is the same route of what they call the, the, the tourist corridor that them implement for the tourists. The tourists, them, they claim is allowed to move from Westmoreland on the north coast in that area, but they must go inside, internal, inside uh, the, the, the country. All right. I know there was a place where I didn't have any, any, any corona um, patient, just like Westmoreland. It hardly didn't have anything, but we hear now say it's spiking in these areas. What conclusion should I come to when I hear that? The conclusion is that this so-called tourist corridor that is designated for tourists has spiked to the extent now where it is necessary to say it. That is how terrible it is now, you know, because if it never terrible, they wouldn't say it. But it reached levels now where they have to say it in Parliament. So watch out. Something is intrinsically wrong, you know. The corridor that we designate for tourists, it spiked. It's not the Jamaican people make it spike, you know. It's the Jamaican people have it now, and it spike. No, me no business where a man will tell me, you know. Is the tourists them will come here upon that level, make it, well, make the Jamaican them catch it, that it can now spike in a place where it never there. So what are not they doing, or what are they not doing right? That is where the government must go back to the drawing board and Mr. Puffy, the Miss, Mr. Bartel, Bartley, Bart, I don't remember where his name. I call him Puffy. Miss Ed Bartley, I say his name. He must go back to the drawing board, you know. And I don't want you to come talk about say it's because the Jamaican people them never have followed the protocol. Because things are just happen so. It not coincidentally happen. That the places we never used to have any spike, no spiking, and that is the same place where we designate corridor, tourist corridor, where the tourists they must stay in that area and don't go outside of the area. The tourists them come here with it, even though they might talk about them might test them are foreign and bring on here. So look here, you can't test a man today and him test negative, you know. And then three days down the road, you test him again and him test positive. Because them have that what them call the asymptomatic position, situation. So you can't really, when you say you plan your, your vacation for come to Jamaica, you could have the test before you say you are coming on. And by the time you get your ticket and everything now, you say you have your paper for sure. So well, really and truly, you get tested already. You reach us so, up. You show your papers, them nobody test you at the airport at Jamaica, man to go be here. Because them say, okay, you get test over this already. And by the time you reach at the hotel, nobody know they you test you again, you know. And guess what? Them give the people them upon the north coast the COVID. That right now it is a problem. The government need to go back to the drawing board. Because you don't tell them now go worry test people who are coming. Which is madness. Which is madness. Because them want to make sure say we have certain things in place when we are go on the plane. I, I don't go on the plane for this year, but I'm I'm told that when you're going on the plane, you have to show say, well, you are right. You know, see, this, that, 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 and that, so that. So we just say, look you now. I don't want to go on like say. When you not do nothing, you don't consult people because you don't know so well this and that. Because you don't follow in the World Health Organization and all these places. That's it. I don't know, say, we can come up with situations that is unique to our situation. 
Yes, we can. I can know say it's them. Coach the minister of tourism what to do because they want to open back the tourist industry for make some money. And tell them said, look, okay, what you do is make a carry that and don't allow the. The, the the tourists they will come up. I say, we can't keep blaming Jamaican people for everything, where that them them own detriments. Because there are certain things that, oh no, I want to say, oh no, I mean, the Minister of Government, oh no, said certain things in place because you don't get in coach. But you don't realize that. Jamaica have a situation where sometimes we can't say it's unique to Jamaica. So when you place the corridor there and say, well, right now, tourists must stay over there. So, when they are talking to me, I say, tourists, I say, tourists, I say, tourists, I say, tourists, I say, which part do not stay? They say, they must stay at Westmoreland. I say, they know the day, so they say, oh, they left them phone at the hotel. They left them phone at the hotel. Jamaica can do the same thing too. Them come here and show them notes in the phone. Okay, try them left the phone at the hotel. So when them attract the phone, they realize that the phone's still there. But the person who owned the phone down there at the hotel. You know see? But for figure it out. But for figure it out. Because I know them say there's a spike. We have a spike over there, so I'm spiking at the normal area of them. Because every day you hear 50 and 60 odd people catch it. But if you give thanks, say, the most, most of the people who catch it get better. Well, not get better, but overcome it. Because we don't know what happened for the long-term effect. The long-term effect is where we're going to decide if when you did catch COVID, you get better. If you really did get better for you. Because that is really where I'm going right now. People are finding out now, say, after one month of healing, them come find out that something else happened to them, which is a half shoot of the COVID. You understand? And the people them still uh, ignore the protocol them. What is so difficult in just following the protocol? Nobody not tell you if you follow the protocol forever and ever, amen. What thing is just try it out and see if you don't see a different a significance in a way of God. Because we have to talk about it. We have to talk about it. We have to talk about it. Why is that after people say the repercussions outside of Jamaica of not wearing the mask? I have evidence. It's not like say you, you come up with something. There is evidence for sure, say, when you don't wear the mask, you're liable to catch it more than when you wear the mask. And it's not that you can't catch it when you wear the mask, but the possibility that you're catching it is lessened when you wear the mask. But you still have some people around the car and say them now nah, wearing a mask because they're breathing oxygen and them now nah, this because it's that, which is damn foolishness. It's foolishness. A man, are you talking to me the other day if, when, when you are eating to take off the mask? What kind of foolishness is that? What kind of foolishness is that? Then all me ever eat. It's like you might try imp, imp, implicate one and say, well, if you take off the mask, which part the, the disease there? A joke business. Joke business. We look at America now. I look at me, I look at my TV, man, and I feel I feel like tears walk over my eye, man. When we see the, the, the hospital people, they might say, you know, them never see so much dead people in them life. You have a guy around the corner and I'm gonna say, well, I, 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 I pay them, pay them people if you say it and all them foolishness there. Like. When we get so extreme with the madness, that we sit up like happen from different different forums. And we are trying to find some little loophole to say, hey, them nurses and them doctors, them, all the people that we've seen at the bed, nobody know that no bed. I lie them, I tell. When they tell you about place overflow, I lie them, I tell. 200 are had, 1,000 people dead. A man, I'll tell you now, say, well, how you know that? How you know that them dead from? And all them foolish to say. Like the people are idiots. And I follow the whole heap of little foolishness. And still I say, still I say it's a hoax. Them still I say it. You have people in Jamaica who have followed the, 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 the whole heap of this type of what them call it. 
social media. And I tell you, say, a lie them I tell. No COVID, no dead, a lie them I tell. We do. Oh, no, I no profile. I, 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 I have you. I have you. Yeah. Yeah, but let me just, let me just clear my brains out when I say that's all right. All right. Within the levels now, I could say no COVID, no dead, eh? All right, no But something is there. My eyes, my ears, and what I see around me is not tricking me. There is something out there that is killing people pan rapid. And it's not like the flu we have them have in America. The flu in America don't kill 200,000 people in a six weeks, six months, sorry. It will be killed so much people in a year where them have flu, flu, flu thing in America. So now, if me I look at it and me I say, let me, not, let me say no COVID no there, but something there. Something is there that is killing people. Something is there that is making people get sick. What can I do to even prevent me from attracting this something to myself? Some people come and say, all right, wear your mask, wash your hand, and keep a certain distance. You can't say in your mind, say, why? Why we must do that? And I'm telling you, because there's something out there, it helps to prevent. Apparently, people seem to say, the magnitude of the disease, if it was so great, why is these simple little things will make your dog contract it? The simple little things. And then people now connect whatsoever they are connect with this thing where them don't understand. And everybody now turn doctor. Everybody know exactly what is causing it and is who put it there, when they put it there, why they put it there, and how they put it there. I don't care how they put it there. I don't care. I know that something is out there. That is the thing. It's not who, what, where, when, why, and how they put it there. It's that something is there. And you have to protect yourself from it. It's just simple. There's no go around the can about it. You understand? There's no blood of Jesus that we're going to save you from it. You know what I'm There's no Jarasta far right. We're going to save you from it. You understand? You could have believed little more and believed little more. That night we're going to save you. There's certain physical things that you must do to help you to prevent it. And if these things is what it takes to do it, why you why you say you not do it? It's not taking no not now for you. It's not taking no now for you. It's not taking no now for you. You're you going to a store and I'm going to have a thermometer. A thermometer, the people them have. Thermometer where they are all long now. You can't go buy thermometer, the thermometer in any pharmacy. And people are fighting against the thermometer to them and try to put something on your brains. People have said that. So, we now, they put, so the people them start to put it in, right in your, your wrist as or no. People have said, yeah, but we don't know where they might do them and put it in my brains. And, yeah, them good. I want to control me the mark and the beast and 666 and all them foolish things there. You know, see? And meanwhile, people are getting sick. And I'm going to tell you, say, you know anybody will have it. <laughs> uh, sir. I say, you know anybody will have it. Right now, I know people will have it. I know, you know some of my friends in them. I'm a friend them with them, with them family dead. So I don't understand why we must go around the place you now after me see a danger. No see a danger out there. And a simple little thing. Simple little thing, you know. Nobody not to me turn your head 260 degrees round. It's a simple little thing. Put on a mask. Wash your hand thoroughly. And also keep a level of distance. When I look at my history book, when I go, go Google certain things, and I go on YouTube, I see the same thing that was happening 100 years ago with another flu. The same thing. And when it touched California, the people them, they decided them not to put on the mask. And they have to make it mandatory because it was killing the people them rapidly. 
That is 100 years ago, 1918 to 1920. The Spanish flu leaked there. How it reached America? Because the soldiers them was coming from war. And them reaching America. And them start to spread it. And them tell the soldiers them say, watch out. You have to stay a certain distance apart from each other, you know, because you're not, you're not giving people it. And then they realize, say, okay, airborne, wear the mask. That happened 100 years ago in our history. So you have to take sleep and mark that. Because it happened already. And it's going to happen again, you know. After this, it going to happen again. And maybe worse, though. So we're living in at this time, you know. And I tell the people them, you see, this so called Christmas madness we are coming as so now. Nobody no want to get locked up in them house, you know. But you know, you can't go out there and still take precaution. You can't take precaution when you go out there, you know, because I go out there. You have all the people out there, but you have certain people where no say well what you know. But I take no chance, you know. It's better you do that something there. And not do happen. That don't do it and something happen. You understand? So we just have to say that. We just have to say that. We're not go back on it again for the day. But the reason why I'm saying is because the coronavirus through there really is amazing. It's a really amazing abridging in England. Read. Yes, it's a very amazing tune. All right. So uh, next subject. I have a I have a yes. I have your yes, man. Greetings, give thanks, you know? Yeah, all right. So we could get right down to you because we don't have much time. We'll have advertisement on them someday. Yeah. I hear somebody tell me, say, the I, when, um, well, the genesis of the reason was that a picture come out with a whole heap of with Mark Golden. And it's the lady that brother named Asta Black. Start to publicize the picture, put him logo upon it, and put the Queen anthem, the British anthem, round it. And I say, Oh Rasta, um, um, endorse uh, 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 Mark Golden, but Rasta never endorse um, him, right? Not him never knows that the picture was a long time picture. Him thinks that just now the picture there. So I might use the picture now to it out against Rasta. All right. Meanwhile, him say that he said, "Oh, me not talk about my friend. We we, we are endorse." And when name Mark, Mark Golden. Yeah. So somebody come to me and say, Why well, you want to say, I have been done and what's my land there? And that's Mark Golden in the name of Rasta. Say, you know, I'm a talk for Rasta now when I say, Rasta and that's Mark Golden. No, me no end that's Mark Golden. Because me no politician. I mean, I end that's no politician. I mean, no, she have a whole heap of Rasta out there. When I nah endorse no politician. So me decides to me to call you straight from your mouth but tell me what is it that happened in a Westmoreland that your name should have called up now say you are talk for Rasta. Alright. Well in the first place, Muta, I never speak on behalf of the Rasta for our community and I never speak on behalf of Rasta. See? Mark Golding is a man that I know fairly good from 2013. And the man where anywhere I invite him, when he was minister, um, and when I even since he stopped being minister, anywhere I invite him is a man where come. Of all the politicians that I know, Mark, I see Mark Golding show more respect toward Rastafari more than any other politician. So when he might come down and now, you know, you have all the youth in a Westmoreland when no I no I man involvement with herb and no you know that there's a fairly good relationship between I am and Golding. So then invite I man over by Manning and then invite Oh the youth them are Mark Golding. The youth them are Mark Golding. The youth them. Okay. The youth them cause in every parish you have delegates and you have youth where yeah, 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 yeah. the different different individual, you know? Yeah. So then invite I man and, and I man go. And I man sure say Mark Golding is the only politician that I know that was brave enough to have piloted a bill through Parliament that led to the 
we had said the um, amendment to the so-called dangerous drug acts where police can box down and kick down and lock up a youth to a little place. So on that basis, that is what I'm going to go say. I never did go to go say I endorse Mark Golding, and I never did go, go, go to go say I speak on behalf of Rasta. But there are individuals who try to discredit Rasta people, and a lot of these individuals were live apparently over a period of years, and they talk about Asta Black, too. Ah, well, yeah. well, 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 I'm going to reach Asta Black yet. Yeah. All right. I know him one alone tell me still enough, but when we want to find out if you didn't actually go up on the stage and endorse Mark Golden, that is where they must No, listen where I man listen where I say Ma Muta. I never go to go say I endorse Mark Golden. I go up on the stage, go go talk, just like where I man said to a while ago. Mm. I point out that in the sixties, if you were caught to that seed or a leaf. Yes. I've heard it was mandatory that you go to prison for 18 months. Yes, yes. People went to prison for five years having one plant because they had a conviction, a position before. Yes. People were serving 10 years in a prison, not to murder, but because a man come and a police come and yard come to five her plant. So the laws were not amended until 1972 when Michael Manley came. Yeah, and we, we, we can't go through the whole history. The whole, the whole other. We can't go through the whole history of that, you know. We just want to find out. No, I'll mean, tell you what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, but it sounds like you've got too long. And I say, I will be bad. No, 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 man. In the first place, I just three minutes, then the then, then beginning. So that, when I say a while ago, it's exactly when I say a long yeah. when I say that. You understand me? But I'm not going to talk to the endorse Mark Golding as. as um, you talk as about him work when you do for the ganja industry. That's the way I say. Eh? Yeah, yeah, say that you talk, you, you spoke about the, the work we do for the ganja industry. That is where I exactly, say. exactly. Me never go say me go in that thing. Cause most of anybody we know, I, me, me, I mean, a PNP, a GLP, me never go on the band. Yeah, but that, that me I say when me hear about it, me I say IRV. When me and my child go over hills and valleys, go no, in no, that no. PNP. No, no, me, me, me that's why I'm telling you. Most of all, and. The bun now, nah, man, man, the same way like how my bus, but bun bust a man to. Can you know the history of these two people? Yeah, but them man, they dead long time. Death politics is the, one of the most divided elements that we find Christianity yeah. found with yeah. people. So, so me not support partisan politics. I mean, not defend PNP or GLP, but there are individuals, for example, a Mark Golding or a Delano Civil Right, who from the GLP, where we say, yeah, there are some form of respect for them. Yeah, okay. You know, me get to know them by being on the board and moving and so on and so on. Yeah. And but but me not in a partisan politics. If you just yeah. see invite a man like when Dan put invite I by emancipation day if you talk about abolition of queen, they go there and the bone fire because yeah, they have to them invite me all the while. But me never yeah. them invite me all the while. Yeah man. Uh, yeah. So all right, so well we'll clear up that. We'll clear up that. We'll clear up that. You know, you'll have to go no yeah. further. We'll clear up that. Give thanks, Bridget. Yeah, but most of one thing I man want to say, most of the problem with I and Rasta face right I know, you know. It's not mm. from politicians or pagan or ballet people are can to hold Rasta call them, you know. It's from Rasta own self, you know. Mm. See, can we want to remind the eye that even in 2015, quickly in the motor, that when I did say have the first root fest with high times, you know. See, a lawyer was brought from England, brought to Jamaica, you know. To file an injunction against I having that event, you know. Yeah. And it's Rasta bring them. Rasta bring the liar. Eh? And it's Rasta bring the liar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Rasta people and the people who claim to be Rasta. And we can't go in a hurry for the other things, Muta. Yeah, but we don't have no time for going now. We don't have no time no, for No, no, we know, but me tell you, so the problem with I and I as Rasta yeah. are, I see it, especially I and I who yeah, say... Yeah, it's, it's among it's Rasta, Rasta themselves. It's from the one. Yeah, all right, sir. Give thanks, Bridget. Give thanks. Yeah, man. That's the fact. Yeah, yeah. That was IAV. We're just trying to clear up something because our people were very skeptical about it. That's why I have to call him. You know, because after after we at, at the black door, we start to wonder if I saw it ago. Because I mean, I got away there. So oh, it looked like everybody did a go certain way. 
So I have been, it was necessary for call. We want to tell you that the hour between four and five is brought to you by Digicel. Download the My Digicel app and shake for a chance to win daily cash and prizes in the Shake and Share Christmas promotion. Visit www.digicelljamaica.com for more details. You can win a, a gift, a share of over 10 million in cash and prizes in the Digicel Shake and Share promotion this Christmas. Visit www.digicelljamaica.com 